Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana, your host on Intellect Digest and we are with Raja Koduri from AMD. He is the Corporate Vice President of Visual Computing Division at AMD and we are going to ask some quick questions to Raja. And Raja, first of all, many congratulations for your new launches Thank here you. in India and uh, I believe those are really good and powerful products that you have showcased today. Thank you. Uh, and I, I find AMD products, especially the visual computing and gaming products, to be really top notch. So I am personally a fan of uh, your graphics products. Oh, very happy to hear that. <laughs> so we'll start with our questions. Uh, first is that how has visual computing evolved or changed in past three years, mm -hmm. and how has AMD, uh, you know, adapted to that to deliver the experience, you know, to catch up with the latest trends. Sure. Um, you know, one of the significant uh, uh, things that happened in the last three years in visual computing is actually the new generation of game consoles, Xbox One and uh, uh, PS4, PlayStation 4, and both are based on uh, AMD's graphics core next architecture. Uh, and that's a, uh, a really significant thing in visual computing because developers have access to the same architecture on game consoles and on PCs. Okay, so that's one aspect of game computing that has uh, been quite big in the last two to three years. The other aspect is high resolution screens uh, are everywhere, right. you know, from uh, phones, tablets to your desktop, 4K monitors getting to be really cheap. And uh, that created demand for visual computing in your pocket to uh, on your desk to in the cloud, right? And so these two things, I, I'd say, in the next, in, in the last two to three years, have been the big transitions. Okay. So, my next question to you is, uh, what is the next big thing that you see or you know foresee happening in the next two to three years, and how AMD is planning to catch up with these changes happening in the society? Yeah. So. Uh, you know, it's really interesting. We just, uh, as I mentioned, we just gone through this transition on game consoles. Yes. The next two to three years, the exciting things that uh, that we see coming, and you see some of the demos, uh, uh, you know, at this event. Uh, one is virtual reality. True. Okay. The virtual reality, oh my God, it's basically going to explode. It's amazing experiences, uh, both in gaming and other forms. And it, it's also going to drive the entire PC architecture forward. It needs low latency, high performance, and uh, is having a disruptive uh, influence on that. The other aspect uh, that we'll see, I think the resolution on the PC is going to go up. You know, 4K displays are not then. You'll see 8K displays. Uh, and with respect to display technology, you'll also see high dynamic range displays with uh, being able to display pictures that have uh, you know, 50 to 100 times more brightness than what you have in the current displays. Uh, I think that's what we'll see in the next two to three years. Okay. Uh, do you see uh, the mobile and tablet space uh, exploding uh, like the way it has been growing is tremendous? Yeah, it's uh, you know the mobile and tablet space uh, will continue to be you know huge and important, right? And uh, the graphics in those spaces will also go up, and it will set the baseline for the PC. PC got to be better than uh, you know mobile phone and the tablet, uh, and which is good news for PC because it will uh, be high performance. Is AMD prepared to get into that space aggressively? Uh, we absolutely. Our technology, the GCN architecture can scale from one watt devices to one kilowatt device. Okay. Right. And um, uh, we have partnerships with uh, several uh, you know, key vertical solution providers for these markets that can help us uh, you know, get into these segments. Okay. So I'll ask my next question, which is very important because uh, most of our viewers and uh, general computer users are confused when they are selecting their next PC or you know building it on custom or picking up a PC. So how important is a graphics card or a GPU for a general user? Is it only important for a gamer or a professional, or is it as important for a general user as well? Yeah, so that's uh, you know quite interesting, right? So you need uh, a certain basic level of performance in on your graphics, um, even for a general user to drive. Like, say, if the general user has a four, one four K display or a couple of displays, right? Uh, does the general user that doesn't game 
today require, like, say, an R9 series? Uh, probably not. But uh, like an R7 series uh, is probably what you should have to have everything smooth, smooth animations and UI and other things, right? Now, but that is about to change with VR, okay? Uh, I see huge potential for VR for the regular user, okay, beyond gaming, right? There'll be interesting social experiences. There'll be interesting, um, like, uh, experiences like, hey, uh, I want to go see uh, Paris, right? And a virtual reality tour of Paris, okay? These are the kind of things that general users would want to do. It's not gaming, but it's like, you know, going to a different uh, place so and experiencing, right? Education is another area uh, where, um, it will have a massive impact. I mean, being able to do, like, you know, online courses today are all interesting, but you don't get a lab, right, right in online course. You don't have access to a lab. But in a virtual reality environment, you could have a lab, a full virtual lab to go, you know, whether it's chemistry or physics or, or even, uh, um, you know, medical stuff, right? Being able to operate on a virtual body with... Uh, <laughs> so you, you know, mean uh, in coming right? so, years, like uh, we consume information from internet in a 2D space on a screen, uh, we'll get into the into content the, right. using the virtual reality and yes. that's where the importance of graphic card will improve much beyond what it is today. Exactly, for uh, regular uh, uses. Yes. All right. that, uh, and my last question, which is again very important, is how, how are the AMD products different from competitors and how do you differentiate what what do you do that your competitors are not doing yeah that's a really good question right i mean you know uh, both us and you know our uh, you know two main competitors right you know we have been around for a long time right and we uh, have very many basic principles the the same uh, and uh, you know we all know each other and you know we all went to similar uh, you know, schools and pedigrees and, and thinking. So, you know, no wonder that, you know, a lot of things uh, end up that we solve the problems in similar ways. Uh, the main difference for AMD is that we have uh, invested in this GCN architecture, right? So we have this architecture in game consoles. We have this architecture on the Macs. We have this architecture on you know PCs, and this architecture is available on different operating systems. So, this is something that uh, none of our competitors have. They are not in all these platforms. So, uh, our differentiation is being able to uh, offer this one architecture to software developers to optimize for and take advantage of on all of these platforms. Uh, that's quite powerful. Right, uh, and uh, uh, I believe that's going to give us, uh, uh, you know, quite a bit of uh, advantage in the coming years. Thank you, Raja, so much for your time, and uh, I believe that our users must, our viewers have benefited after viewing this uh, interaction, and they got to know some important information and got to clear some of their doubts. If you still have any more questions that you would ask, uh, want to ask Raja, you can drop them in the comments below this video. We'll get back to Raja and get your questions answered. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. And for more such interesting interactions from Intellect Digest, make sure you hit the subscribe button. This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.